Right then, hello and welcome to another one off. Today we're having a look at The Plan. Now, I don't know how this ended up in my Steam library. I never bought it, I was never gifted it, but it was there, just sitting there and I have no idea what it's about. Apparently you're a little fly and from what I understand is that this game is very short as well. So, yeah, why not? I just thought it would be ideal for a little one off. Something different, you know, compared to the usual. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it is, uh, you can use a controller, so that's cool. Uh, and I guess this is all you do. Okay, we're just going to fly off the side of the screen. There we are. What, what exactly is the premise of this game? Is it even a game or is it like an art project or whatever? Okay, we've got some weird noises going on. Oh, I just bumped into something. I think that's a window. Well, I like the music. The ambience. What is this supposed to be about? Well, at least you can do a little jig. Okay, so we've reached the top of the world. Oh no, there we can we can we go any further? Oh, cool. I was going to say, if there's any bloody jump scares in this, I'm not going to be best pleased. Okay, where's the spitter? Come on, get out. Can you even get out? Come on, use your force, Luke. Oh, it's like one of those Final Fantasy IX moments where you have to sway side to side, I guess. No, is that it? Are we stuck now? Oh no, we are breaking free of the web. Come on, you can do it. Yay, finally. You're not as useless as you look. What in God's name is this supposed to be? What is it? Is it, is it literally like a, a student's art project or... What is it? I honestly haven't got a clue. Is this like an existential crisis that you're going through? If someone has any more backstory on this, then let me know. Okay, headbutt and a, a leaf. It's like Wipeout Fly Edition. I hope at the end of all this, you don't just perch yourself on a load of bloody shit or something. His legs are a bit droopy. Ragdoll physics on the legs, that's cool. Come on, can we do anything else or do we just have to fly upwards? Come on, fight it. You can fight it. There we go. It is rather relaxing, besides the spider webs and the wind and everything else. It is quite a relaxing little background game. Especially the... Uh, the sound effects and the, the music as well is very what you would find on one of these relaxing CDs. Oh, more wind. Go on. But yeah, I honestly have no idea what this is supposed to be about. You're getting further away. As you're flying up into the nethers. Oh, that music's pretty. God, that music's nice. I love, that is one thing, I love classical music. Whether that be full-on orchestral or piano, classical music, stuff like that. Like Schubert, Beethoven, Chopin. We still flying upwards? We are. Okay. Who 
we collect these? No. Oh, look, it's the, uh, what used to be the Horse Head Nebula. Oh, there he is. There's a the Horse Head Nebula. What is going on, really? Oh, I like that, the, the, the rays, the shadow rays coming off him. God, that music is absolutely gorgeous. There's a film called Melancholia, and that uses a lot of classical music. And that's what that reminds me of. What the hell? Oh, it's a bloody giant light bulb. Cool. So... What? Oh, I can type here. Hello. Hello. Was that it? You get all that really lovely classical music and then nothing happens. You go up and fly into a light bulb. You fly through space just to bonk your head on a light bulb. Um, written by, oh, it was Edward Grieg. Oh, I knew I heard it somewhere before. Edward Grieg, of course, he does a piano concerto in A minor. Very good piece of music. The death of A's, or as a, whatever. Um, yeah, so there you go, that is the plan. Again, I have no idea what it's about, what it entails. I guess that is the last moments of a fly's life, and he goes up and bonks his noggin on a light bulb. Very weird. I like the music, though. Uh, replay value, not really. <laughs> you can't really do much, you just fly up and that's it. Um... So yeah, that was the plan. Um, what the plan was, no idea. Uh, answers on the postcard, please. But yeah, um, I shall leave it here for now then. So I will be back next time for something else. So thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe. And I'll see you for uh, something else that is kind of not like this. So yeah, anyway, see you later. Take care and uh, yeah, have a good one. Okay, so actually, before we end the video here, um, I did find something out. Um, there was an achievement with this game called Hey Listen that I didn't, you know, know how to unlock. So I'd done a little bit of reading, and apparently if you click on Created by Krillbyte Studios, you get turned into Navi from uh, Link or Zelda or whatever. There, you are now Navi. That's pretty cool. I do like that. We can fly a little bit faster as well. Let's see how fast we can get to the light bulb this time is Navi. The annoying little fairy thing from uh, Legend of Zelda. That's one thing, I've never played any of the Legend of Zelda games. So, uh, yeah. I'll have to uh, change that at some point. There's one, I don't own a a switch or anything like that, but I would love to uh, grab a switch and uh, play Breath of the Wild because I do like open world style games like Oblivion and Skyrim and stuff like that. Just walk around and do a load of side quests and stuff. Oh no, we're stuck in a web again. Navi, you complete useless moron. Oh well, at least we know how to get out of it this time. There we go. It's a shame you don't have like a <laughs> an accelerator button, you, like a rocket booster or something. Just you know, a rocket shoots out of your ass and you just fly upwards. I wonder if it's instead of a giant light bulb, it's just a giant lynx head just gurning at you. You just fly into his mouth and then Link chokes. Oh, 
So yeah, that's a, that's a fun little Easter egg for you, isn't it? At least we get to hear that really cool music again. But, uh, knowing my luck, Edward Grieg is probably copyrighted, so... But yeah, this, this is, um... You know, if it wasn't for the, the wind effects and everything, you just had the music. And yeah, it'd be a nice, I guess it would be a, a similar to just like a screensaver. We going the right way. Oh yeah, got to go a bit further left. I mean, if there was a premise of this game or like little, a uh, little quests that you needed to do, then yeah, fair enough, but I mean, just flying upwards doesn't really uh, make much in the way of sense, to be fair. But I do seriously think it is probably an art project of some description by some students. There's the music it kicks in there. I thought Navi would have been a lot faster than this. It is very, it is a very pretty game though, the music in the backgrounds as well. Very somber and melancholic music, which is the kind of music I would expect to hear if I was walking through like a, a forest and it's all foggy and this, that, and the other. I don't get why you fly up into outer space, though. I don't think that would really happen. We'll fly more to the side. Does it just repeat on the set? Yeah, it does. Yeah, look. You can see the uh, nebula repeating. I mean, it's very well done, though. Space! I don't know. Space really freaks me out. If I uh, seen, like, a massive bloody planet or something in the night sky, I've had nightmares where... You know, I've looked outside and there's just planets all over the sky. That would scare the living daylights out of me. Come on, let's get to the light bulb. Can we fly around it? Nope, he flies up automatically. There we go. Kaboom. Navi is no more. Navi is dead. Navi is dead. There we go. So yeah, that was... You know, didn't really bring anything new to the table. It was a fun little Easter egg, I suppose. Um, so yeah, there we go. So again, a little bit extra. And uh, I will leave it here for now. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time for something else. So take care, stay safe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye for now.